Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some shop remodeling. We thought we'd bring you guys around for that. Uh, we're going to completely change our workbenches that we have here. The shop is a mess right now, so uh, we have quite a bit of work to get going on. And I wanna apologize for not finishing up the other video on the restoration that we were doing on that vintage bajo sexto that we restored. Um, I'll send you guys some, I'll show you guys some pictures of that and show you what it turned out like. I was just crunched for time. Weather had kept pushing me back. So I was trying to complete that bajo um, as fast as I could and a customer was waiting for it. So I didn't, I didn't get to finish up the video recording of it. I was going to show you guys the finishing process and the, uh, the way we, you know, set things up, set the string height and everything. But uh, I'll show you guys some pictures of it um, and we'll take you along today. We're going to, like I said, we're going to do the shop room. What we're doing right now is the shop remodel and um, we're just trying to, you know, show you guys how we do it. Stick around. All right. So I halfway started getting this cleared out and I remembered nice. I was supposed to film it. So let me try to set the camera up somewhere here and we'll put you guys on a time lapse so you can see how, how we get going on it. Let's see. Get the here.
<laughs> so we're halfway through this, uh, I guess you could call it a remodel, slash upgrading our countertops uh, and, and the actual the cabinets at really. Um, so we're using some reclaimed cabinets that we had from um, one of my brothers. My brother's building a house and had some leftover stuff from that he didn't use. So we decided to use it and we're going to repaint them and it actually works out really nice. Have some better storage and stuff like that so works out good for us and i'm just gonna start nailing these tops on here and then put the edge on them it should be good What are you doing? Just putting this little scribe molding on here. Is it lunch time yet? <laughs> are you ready for lunch? Mm, I've been ready for lunch. Alright, well, let's need to vacuum everything up, get ready to paint everything, and then we can do the uh, French pleat walls next. Getting there. It's time to get the shop back in order so we can get to work. Oh, I need to do the toe cakes on here. I forgot. The toe cakes are last. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a few days now. Uh, we kind of delayed the shop renovations because I was. Uh, out building a um, kind of like a workbench at one of my uncle's house who do, he builds custom cabinetry so I was over there and uh, we finally got back to it so today we're gonna clean all this up and bring in the new uh, workbench it's gonna go somewhere in this area right here Say hi, baby. <laughs> so we're, we got a mess going on right now so uh, we're just trying to Get back to building bottles and doing all the repairs that we got.
Android guy. So I'm recording it with my phone. Let's see if that works. So I took the door off because we have this big cabinet we're putting into the shop. Uh, we're gonna try to get it in here. So and bear with us. It's very heavy and it's very big. <laughs> we struggled to get it through the opening so this is the one he spent two days making yeah shout out to my uncle abel for his, his help custom, custom cabinet work if anybody needs cabinets in the uh hayes county travis county area san marcus lockhart kyle buna austin bastroff you hit him up, hit me up for the information, and I'll give you his uh, contact info. He does his custom cabinetry. This side is the two side, right? That other side. The other side is the two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, that's where you marked it. Okay. I thought you marked it. I thought it's too. I think it's right. Did it stand off or something? This is a two. So this is the other no, side. No, that's the that's the two. So these go on yeah, yeah, that side. Cause this one was all of these were from one side. Mm-hmm. So you put them on one side. Mm-hmm. Yep. We are really bad at recording videos. For Video. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to show you the process of, it, of uh, setting up the new workbench and I totally forgot it. So basically here we're building the countertop or the workbench top and we're just using two uh, two by 12s that we're going to laminate together and glue together. So that's basically what we're doing here. Are we spreading it too? Yeah. And you take the glue that way. And you start spreading this one. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Glue dries fast. They sell that open. The one that's got open 30 minutes of open time, you probably should buy that one once it gets hotter. We had one of those um, glue rollers. Yep. And but. We, <laughs> and we chunked that right away. <laughs> Broke or something right away. Bumping into everything. You remember those elementary school days where you put the glue on your fingers and then you just like start yeah. peeling it off? Time lapse. 